Rebars positioned with the Extrude Rebar Along a Path tool can be edited subsequently with the Properties palette. A rebar is selected and the Properties palette for the Extrude tool is chosen. Among other things, it's possible in the case of the longitudinal reinforcement to specify whether these should be delivered bent or straight. The longitudinal bars had several positions prior to extruding. Several groups are created as a result which can be selected. You can activate a bar overlap at the start and end for the selected group. Position a check mark here and enter the required bar overlap. You can see here how the rebars protrude. You can edit the overlap value here. In addition, the concrete cover for the entire reinforcement can be configured separately or simultaneously at the start and end. The value needs to be changed for this purpose so that the modified concrete cover is visible at the start of the bridge superstructure. The concrete cover is reset again here. If necessary, you can also define areas for the transverse reinforcement in which the reinforcement is compressed. If the areas for the transverse reinforcement are defined together with the bar spacing and length of the region, you can, among other things, specify that the bar spacing here of 15 cm is to be compressed to 10 cm in the vicinity of the future support. A further modification option for extruded bars is to depict the bars as offset. It makes sense to depict them as offset, particularly where several bending shapes such as closed, stirrup, open stirrup or straight bars are superimposed in the transverse reinforcement. An appropriate value is indicated to achieve this. You can now see in the plan view in the shell drawing how the individual bending shapes are depicted in an offset manner for better recognition. All changes to the extruded 3D bars can be depicted and checked in the same fashion in the complete overview and in diverse perspectives and isometric depictions. Naturally enough, you can also view and check this in greater detail in the animation.